AWS is the leading infrastructure as a service provider that companies love for ease of use, availability, cost savings, and more. But as your AWS environment grows to include developer accounts, staging accounts, production accounts, and so on, you're faced with the added complexity of protecting more accounts and ensuring that not everyone has access to all critical resources. Fortunately, OneLogging can help you scale your environment seamlessly. In this video, you will see how to maintain AWS security and visibility with capabilities like SAML single sign-on and multi-account provisioning, all without sacrificing productivity. I'll be working out of my AWS window and my OneLogin window. In AWS, I've created IAM roles that delegate access to specific users and groups within an individual AWS account. All user access must be managed on an account-by-account -account basis. That's where OneLogin comes in. OneLogging can be used as an extension of AWS IAM to delegate access across multiple accounts and roles from a centralized administrator control panel. With my corporate directory already integrated, this is where I manage AWS within OneLogging. Over on the Configuration tab, I have already completed the easy configuration process. The external role and external ID are values created by AWS that allow OneLogin to take action within my different AWS accounts. This is the list of SAML identity providers that represent the AWS accounts that I want to connect to. With the above fields populated and saved, OneLogin then uses APIs to connect to AWS and pull in the desired accounts and roles. These accounts and corresponding roles are listed on the Parameters tab in a single list for easy viewing in one place. Before moving on, I'd like to visit the Users tab. You can see that Nathan Chan, a web developer, has zero AWS roles granted to him as indicated by the blank box on the right. From the Rules section, we can dynamically assign access to Nathan and all other users just based on attributes in my directory. Rules can be based on a number of different attributes such as distinguished name, email, department, and so forth. In this case, I want all members of the security group Web Developers to be granted access to these five AWS roles. I'll click Save, and when we go back to our list of users and select Nathan, who as you recall is a member of the Web Developers group, you can see he then has immediate access to all the AWS accounts and roles we specified on the Rules tab. And if Nathan meets the criteria for any other rules, he'll get any subsequent roles as well. With AWS access now granted, here's what it looks like for Nathan to sign into his AWS accounts. From the OneLogin portal, he clicks the AWS tile and is authenticated into AWS via SAML single sign-on. He's then presented with only the accounts and roles that we assigned to him. When Nathan selects the desired role, like EC2 power user, he is quickly signed into AWS, no password necessary. As you can see, access to EC2 is granted. And as you can also see, access to any other services are denied. Similarly, when Nathan is removed from the Web Developers Group, the rule that we set up will no longer apply to him and his access to the defined AWS roles will be revoked. OneLogin is the only solution that enables maximum administrator and end-user productivity while maintaining AWS control and visibility. OneLogin's multi-account, multi-role provisioning is a game-changer for all AWS administrators. Click on any of the links in the description to learn more.